just had a uh, amazing breakfast with a man who was my mentor and professor when I was here uh, in Denver and we just had an amazing time with him uh, super encouraging yeah very grateful to have that time to catch up but we're hitting the road we're off like a herd of turtles and we're headed north to and we're stuck in traffic we intentionally tried to leave later uh, this morning so it's like 9 15 we were thinking that all the morning traffic would be done by then but we were wrong so there are cars everywhere we're up on a bridge right now and I'm looking down at like three different freeways and it's just full of cars yeah expensive gas we've bought this whole entire trip it's uh, three dollars a gallon and we're in Fort Lupton Colorado all right so we made it to where we're gonna be staying and they have a nice house here it's in a fun neighborhood they said that all of the houses in this little cul-de-sac area are all original homeowners and they've been here for like 25 years or so and so that's that's really cool. They have like a you know community in their neighborhood that have been here since the beginning when these houses were built. Uh, the couple that we're staying with, um, they are related to my dad's side of the family, and it's kind of it's like my grandma's cousin daughter. Yeah, it's a, it's a connection like that. So been here once before uh, when I was in grad school I made the drive up here and came up for Thanksgiving and got to hang out with them for a day but this is only my second time <clears throat> so this is my second time being here and uh, it's it's good to be back it's good to hang out with them some people have asked how the truck is handling and it's uh, been great we we hit 200,000 miles, which this truck's actually in kilometers. So let's see how many kilometers it has. 325,000 kilometers. So that's just over 200,000 miles. We did a full tune-up on the truck before we left the ranch. So I did that with another uh, mechanic and it's been running great. We haven't had any issues so far. The last couple times that I've checked antifreeze, it's been a little low, so I'm not sure um, if it's because of the elevation change um, or if we're leaking a little bit or if it's something else. Um, but I've had to add some, some uh, coolant and some water just to fill it back up a little bit. I told you guys when we got the, the tires inspected that the guy was really impressed with how well the, the tires are wearing. And we were at a gas station the other day uh, a guy came up and commented on the tires and I told him that they're 10 ply and we bought them not knowing that we were going to be driving on the pavement so much. We didn't know we were going to go on this trip when we bought these tires. So uh, looking back, if we had known that we were going to leave the ranch and go on this trip, I probably would have bought uh, like the Cooper AT3s or something that's a little bit more because uh, these are like their highest end like off-road tire uh, but they've been great um, they're a little noisier now than when we first got them we're using the cooper um, stt pros so if you are new to the channel uh, this is our rooftop tent you can check out some of our other videos uh, where it pops up we have a ladder to climb in there and the back seat here is kind of our closet so i've some clothes in here right now that we just I just threw in there uh, just to move today but we have a, a bar here our clothes this is like my camera equipment stuff so each side of the the back door is like a closet and then the back of our truck there's chief's dog bed storage food 
Chief's dog food, stove, water, ladder, free dog treats that somebody gave us for Chief, running shoes, I have weights that I use to work out, and then this is a drawer. So this is the drawer pulled all the way out. It's kind of cool how far out it hangs. So we made this drawer with uh, scrap wood um, that was thrown away from a construction project and I was able to salvage it and build this drawer. On the bottom side of the drawer, there's these small little pieces of melamine and those go in the grooves like right here. And so they slide in and that's it. And the whole bottom piece is, is melamine as well. So that's how the drawer slides in and out. And then there were a couple handles that I found that I recycled and then I painted the end of it just so that it wasn't just I guess I haven't really shown the drawer open on the channel really too much but this first section is all of our like cooking stuff for when we're camping this is like toiletry type items there's some tea um, the blender this is the pan we use to make those chocolates when we make them for our friends a longer leash that we can tie chief up to if we need to pots for cooking uh what's back here this is like random camera equipment stuff like gopro stuff this was a gift from a subscriber there's a monopod some workout clothes and then back in here i have like my irrigation boots and taylor's hiking boots as well as a trailer hitch if we ever need to pull a trailer. And then up front we have um, where we sit. Uh, that's pretty simple. Uh, this is the little holder for my gimbal that holds my GoPro. There's an inverter right down there that will plug so pretty simple day today, just a little bit of traveling and new location. If you're new to the channel, maybe go check out our website. It's axfam.com. And if you haven't checked out our website, you can go check it out. It's just kind of a home base and then there's links from there. We had uh, someone recently just give us a gift through our website. I believe it was the link in our website or it was the link in the description below. But they gave us uh, a gift through PayPal and I just want to say thank you to Vern so thank you Vern thank you so much for supporting this journey and we will see you guys later hats off to you